Hello there, it's Leslie Feigmaster, and welcome to day 22 in our 30-day challenge for beginners. So you can start sitting. We'll start sitting with the shins crossed, and just a reminder, you can sit up on something to lengthen your spine, like I am sitting on a block. And then take your hands together in front of your heart. This is called Anjali Mudra. It's a mudra of reverence. And take a moment to set an intention for your practice. As always, all of your intentions are welcome. So moving the block out of the way, coming on to hands and knees, wrists under shoulders with knees under hips. Today I'm going to tuck my toes under in my table. This makes it feel a little bit different. So inhale, bring the chest forward and exhale round the back and then take the hips all the way back to the heels. So it feels a little different with the toes tucked under. If you don't like it, it's fine. You can take the tops of your feet down instead. Inhale, bring the chest forward again. Exhale, begin to round the back and take the hips to the heels. And again, inhale, widen through the collarbones, lifting chin and tailbone up. And exhale, round the back, take the hips all the way back to the heels, keeping the arms extended. And once again, inhale forward. Chest expands, tailbone lifts, exhale rounding the back, and then come to neutral spine and walk your right foot forward. You can always pick it up and help it along. Right knee over ankle for low lunge. This time definitely tuck your back toes under. Gives it a little more stability. So we're pulling the right hip back, sending the left hip forward as you draw your lower belly in. Then bring your left hand to the floor and inhale right arm up. I've got my left hand on a block because it gives me more space in my twist. I want to keep the hips level and bring the twist above the waist. So right hip pulls back. Now next inhale straighten the right leg and lengthen over it for half Hanumanasana half splits. Also if you have blocks handy here you can put one hand on each of your blocks and that'll again give you more space. Draw the right hip back gently so that again your hips are level. And then sinking in again into low lunge, walk that right knee back. Inhale, step your left foot up by your left hand, keeping the right toes tucked under, right knee down, and pad up the right knee if it needs any padding. Inhale, come on up, tailbone will lengthen down, hip bones lift. Spin the triceps forward, draw the front ribs down as you lift up, avoiding that arch in the lower back. That's a variation, an arch, but today we will avoid it. Right hand down, inhale, left arm up and twist, or put the right hand on your block. So as you inhale, create length, and as you exhale, twist. So take another breath here. Now I didn't realize I could do yoga with a hat on, but <laughs> it's going to unwind and straighten the left leg. Lengthen as you inhale, exhale, fold. But I was just practicing a little and I did a down dog and it stayed on and I said, well, why not? It's a little chilly, a little windy, so that's why I've got a hat. Keep okay, pulling your left hip back and the left toes pull back as well. Then rebend the knee, move the blocks out of the way if they're there, and make your way back into table. Tucking the toes under, still. Walk your hands a little in front of the shoulders and then lift up and back into downward facing dog. And then start to bend one knee and the other as you bicycle your legs in your down dog. Make sure to spread your fingers wide. Press down into the base of the fingers. Arms are shoulders distance apart. As you press into the base of the fingers, lift up through the forearms. Bend both knees now. Stretch back as much as you can. And then straighten the legs as much as they will. Arms and ears are in line. Spin your inner thighs back as you reach down through the heels. Gaze between your knees or feet. Next inhale, come forward into plank. Reach your tailbone toward the heels. You can always take the knees down if you wish. Chest will come forward. Shoulder blades relax toward the waist. Now everybody take your knees down, shift forward about an inch lower to your belly as you exhale. Then hands will be by low ribs. Inhale, cobra, coming to the tops of the feet. 
And then as you exhale, tuck your toes, press up and back for downward facing dog. So our practices are getting just a little bit longer now. Please feel free to push the pause button and rest whenever you like. Look forward, step or hop your feet up. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale and fold, bend the knees as needed. Press down through the feet to rise up as you inhale. And exhale, hands to heart, samastitihi. Get feet together or hips width apart, finding Tadasana. Press evenly through the feet and then lift up through the inner and outer arches of your feet. Spin your inner thighs back and draw your tailbone down. Draw the belly in and up, lift the chest. Inhale, sweep your arms out around and up. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold over the legs. Inhale, bend the knees as needed. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, plant your palms, come to plank. Chest forward. So we're going to hold plank today a little bit. Always put the knees down if you wish, otherwise you'll lift the backs of the knees up. Shift forward, knees up or down. We'll lower halfway, shoulders no lower than elbows, and then all the way down. Inhaling into Cobra Pose. And then exhale, pressing up and back into Down Dog. You may have noticed that I left my knees off the floor as I pressed up and then back into Down Dog. You can try that if you wish. It takes a fair amount of strength, so always feel free to keep your knees down as you make that transition. Look forward, step your feet up. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale and fold. Press through the feet, rise up with a nice long spine. Spin your triceps forward and to samastitihi. And again, inhale, sweep the arms out around and up. Exhale, fold forward, hinging from your hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, step back into plank and hold. Couple breaths here in plank. So in plank pose, it's a great pose to build strength in the arms and the shoulders, but also make sure you're using your belly muscles and your leg muscles as much as you can so your arms and shoulders don't have to do it all. Then shift forward, chaturanga, knees up or down, shoulders no lower than elbows, inhaling if you're an up dog, thighs and knees are off the floor, and then exhale back into down dog. You may always choose cobra pose instead of upward facing dog. Come back to steady breathing here. Inhale, lift the right leg and bend the knee. Open up the hip just for a moment. And then square off the hips, looking forward. Draw the knee in. Keep pressing away from the floor and then step it up right in the middle of the hands. Not the knee, but the ankle. <laughs> Take the arms out to a T for warrior two. Line up your front heel and back arch and be sure your knee's over your ankle. Keep lifting through the lower belly as you drop your right hip down toward the floor. Gaze over the fingertips. Press the back thigh straight back. Now drop the left arm reverse, stretching the side body. Bend into the right knee a little. Inhale to come up, lean forward. Right form to right thigh, reach the left arm in line with the ear, spinning left tricep down. If you'd like, you could also take the right hand to your block on the pinky toe side of the right foot. So make one long line from your fingertips all the way down to the outer edge of your back foot. And then lengthen from your right hip to right armpit. And then inhale, warrior two. And exhale, windmill the arms down, slowly back into plank and then pause. Slowly chaturanga knees up or down. Inhale to cobra or into up dog. And then tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend to the knee and open up through the hip. So every once in a while it feels nice to open up the hip. Square off the hips and knee toward nose, shoulders over wrists. Then lightly step the left foot up. Spin the back foot flat. Inhale for warrior two. So again, making sure you are lined up heel to arch. Back arms as high as your front arm. And the knee points straight ahead. Keep the lower belly lifted. 
as you draw your left sitting bone down. Now drop the right arm reverse, stretch out the side body, keep bending through the front knee. Inhale up, get some length, and then left forearm to left thigh, right arm up and over. Spin your right tricep forward. You can keep forearm on the thigh or take the left hand to the block on the pinky toe side. And again, see if you can make one long line from your fingertips all the way out to the outer edge of your back foot. As you press through the outer edge of the back foot, be sure to draw the outer ankle in and up. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale and windmill the arms down, come to plank. Pause a moment, tailbone toward heels, lift the backs of the knees, pull the belly in. Knees can be up or down. And then shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Shoulders and wrists in line and up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes for down dog. Take a few breaths here. If you want a break, take your knees down to rest and push the pause button if you want a little longer break. Look up. Step the feet to the hands. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, fold. Press down as you rise up, inhaling. And samastitihi, exhale. Come back to steady balance or tadasana at the front of your mat. Now inhale, bending the knees, try to touch your fingertips to the floor if you can, and then drop the tailbone down, Utkatasana, sit back, and exhale, hands to heart, lean forward, sweep your right arm across as you inhale, pull the right hip back, lengthen the spine, as you exhale, twist. Bring your palms in toward the center of the chest. So you can take a look at the knees. If the right knee's ahead of the left, that just means pull the right hip back. And then back to center, fold in. Hands don't have to touch the floor. Inhale, lengthen. Fingertips down, drop the hips, sit back. Inner thighs spin down, shins press back. Then hands to heart, lean forward first, and then exhale, hook your left arm across. As you inhale, see if you can find some length through the spine. As you exhale, you'll twist from above the waist. Try and lengthen from your navel all the way up to your chest. And then fold over the legs, hips over heels if the legs can straighten. Take your feet hips width apart now and take the opposite arms as you gently rock side to side, ragdoll pose. The crown of the head reaches down to lengthen the neck. Knees can be bent here. Weight will be in the heels if they are. Inhale, come halfway up. Feet together if you normally do. Exhale, grab your hip bones. Inhale, come back up to standing. Let's come back into Tadasana pose at the front of the mat. Closing the eyes, reconnect with your breath and your intention. And inhale, bending the knees into Utkatasana, chair pose again. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back. Chaturanga, knees up or down. Totally up to you. Inhale for a cobra or into upward dog. Exhale, make your way into down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts from the inner thigh this time. We'll keep level hips. Exhale, knee toward the nose, shoulders over wrists, and then step the right foot up by the right hand. Stand the ball of your back foot and inhale, come up to high lunge or crescent pose. Draw your right hip back and reach up through all four sides of the waist. Bend the left knee, drop your tailbone, lift your hip points up, and then keep that as you straighten the back leg. Belly's drawing in. Now exhale, hover over your front leg and keep pulling your right hip back. Then, with all that length, hook your left arm across. Take an inhale, create space and length as you exhale, twist. There is a tendency to create compression of your belly on the right thigh. See if you can keep it lifted. Then squeeze the hips, come on up on your inhale, back into crescent. 
Hover over the front leg again just for a moment and step back into plank through chaturanga. Or you can always skip it and go to down dog. Inhale, press up. And exhale, stretch back. Left leg lifts on the inhale. Level hips, exhale, knee toward nose, shoulders over wrists, and then step your left foot lightly by the left hand. Stay on the ball of the back foot, bending the back knee for a moment, tilt the pelvis forward, zip in through the belly, so pull it in, and then reach up, tricep spinning forward. So the tailbone will drop down as the hip points will lift. Stretch up through all four sides of your waist, pulling the left hip back gently. Then hinge forward from the hips, hover over the leg, bringing your right arm across. As you inhale, see if you can make some length through the spine. As you exhale, start to twist from above the waist. The belly will turn a little, rib cage some more, chest can turn the most. Little baby back bend in the upper back as the shoulder blades will move toward the chest. Inhale, come on up into crescent. Exhale, hover over the front leg for a moment again and then bring the hands down. Step to plank, lower chaturanga or just go right into down dog. Inhaling for up dog and exhaling back for down dog. Reconnect with your breath and then let's take the knees down into little child's pose. So you'll notice my toes are still tucked under. I gotta tell you the truth, I got my toes done and I didn't wanna mess them up, but it is a really nice variation to tuck the toes under. So come up to the knees, look forward or come to down dog, step the feet up, take an inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Bend the knees, drop the hips, which katasana, sit back, and then to standing, back to tadasana. So taking a moment again to find your center, let's take two blocks toward the front of the mat and have those handy. If you don't have blocks, use something. You can use water bottles or cans. Now shift the weight into the left foot as you pick up your right foot for tree pose, for kshasana. Right foot anywhere above or below the knee. Find a gazing point, something that's not moving. And then inhale, sweep the arms up. As you reach through the arms, spin the triceps forward. Keep drawing your frontal ribs down and in. And lift through the back ribs, stretch them up. Then point the knee to the front, extend the right leg forward. Any amount, doesn't have to be high. Drop the right hip down without touching it to the floor. Start to take that right leg back from the inner thigh. Try and keep the hips level. It's warrior three. Then inhale, come on back to standing. Hands were at heart. It's a little easier than arms by ears. You can do either. Right foot down, pick the left foot up anywhere above or below the knee. Take the hands together in front of the heart as you get your balance and then inhale, sweep the arms up. Drop down through the left hip and pin your right hip in towards center. So you're drawing the right hip in. Stretch up tall through all four sides of the waist, arrow straight arms. Triceps will spin forward. Another breath here. Then inhale, point the knee toward the front of the mat. Exhale, extend the leg. Lift the leg any amount, but continue to drop the left hip down and draw the right hip in towards center. Now start to draw the leg back. Once you get halfway, lift it from the inner thigh. Hands at heart's a little easier. Drop the outer left hip down so that your hips stay level. Inhale, come back to center. So once you extend that leg back, it's harder to keep the hips level, but we want to. Inhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana, and then press into the right foot, lift the left leg up slowly from the inner thigh, stretch that leg back and come onto the ball of the foot. Now you're in crescent. Make your adjustments so that your right knee is over the ankle and pull the right hip back. Again, drawing the belly in, keep long through the low back and tailbone. Then hover your torso over the leg. Grab those blocks and inhale, lift the left leg up from the inner thigh. Line up your wrists underneath your shoulders. 
Now take your right hand to the lower back. As you inhale, create length through the spine. As you exhale, start to twist. Belly turns a little, ribs a little more, chest the most, and then maybe stretch the right arm up. Keep reaching through the back leg like you're pressing it into a wall. Then return your hands to the blocks and come back to center feet together and sit back into Utkatasana. Lifting the right leg, finding balance, Step it back from the inner thighs so your hips are nice and level. Make your adjustments so the left knee is over the ankle. Tailbone drops down, belly lifts. Spin the triceps forward. And breathe here. Then hovering over the front thigh, bring hands to blocks and now lift that right leg from the inner thigh. It wants to open, that hip wants to open, so drop the outer right hip down. Then bring left hand to low back, right hand stays on the block. Start to twist, belly, ribs, chest, and then extend up through the left hand. That right leg continues to press back, toes point straight down to help keep your hips level. Return your left hand to the block and step your feet together. Twisted Half Moon. Take your feet hips width apart. And grab your big toes with your first two fingers. Inhale to lengthen and then exhale fold forward. If that's a little too intense, then grab your opposite elbows and gently rock from side to side. So Twisted Half Moon Pose is Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana. So move those blocks out of the way if they're in the front of the mat. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, step back into Plank Pose. Pausing here a moment, or knees can be down as you pause if you're getting tired. Then shift forward an inch, chaturanga, slowly lower all the way down to the floor. Bring your hands right alongside your body, palms facing the legs. And then inhale, shalabhasana, lift your belly, drop your tailbone, or sorry, lengthen your tailbone toward the backs of the knees and press the pubic bone down gently to lift the hip points. Release and rest. You can rest your forehead on your hands or take one ear down to the mat. Now hands by the low ribs, elbows point up and draw in. Lift up again into Shalabhasana. Locust, keep the back of the neck long. Keep lifting the belly and reaching the tailbone to the heels and then lower down and rest, exhaling. Now bring the arms up by the ears, lift everything up again, try to get length here. So again, tailbone to heels, pull the ribs in. Exhale, swim the arms back this time, reach for the pinky toe sides of the feet and lift up and press back. If that's too intense, stay with Shalabhasana with Locust and then release and rest. Tuck the toes under. Press your hands by your ribs, low ribs, and then take the hips back to the heels. If you don't wanna have your feet tucked under here, you can come onto the tops of the feet. Unless you could just got your toes done and then just don't do it. <laughs> Sorry, it's been months and months since I had them done. Anyway, it's a little too much information I know. Reach the arms forward, press up and back into downward facing dog again. Arms and ears in line. Inhale, come forward, exhale through chaturanga. Inhale, press into up dog or stick with cobra. And then exhale back into down dog. And then stepping or hopping through, we'll come to seated. Reach the legs forward, dandasana. Sit up tall. So again, if it's hard to sit up tall, you can sit on a block. We're gonna bend the right knee, bring it out to the side. If the knee doesn't draw down, if it lifts, then you can put a, bl a block under it. So make sure you're sitting tall. Pull the left toes back, inhale, lengthen. Now turn toward the straight leg gently. Exhale, lean forward. Then hinging from the hips, then inhale, create length. Feel free to use your strap, but try not to round your back. 
Exhale, hinging from the hips, belly toward thigh as you make that extension, make that length in the spine. Spine's actually an in inflection, but we want to extend as much as possible. Lengthen on your inhale, and then exhale to release. Straight or bend the right, or sorry, yeah, bend the right knee again. Sole the foot on the floor, right hand behind you. Inhale, left arm up, and then exhale to twist. You can hug the knee or take the left arm to the outside of the knee. Make sure the left toes continue to pull back as you inhale, lengthen. On the exhale, twist. So we just want to twist gently using the internal muscles first. Bring the head to center, unwinding. And now bend your left knee. Left sole the foot to the inner right thigh. Feel free to put a block under the knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, little twist as you come forward. Use the strap if you want a little more space, more length. Try not to roll the back like that, but lead with the chest. Every inhale here, you can focus on length, creating more space. And as you exhale, maybe you'll come in a little deeper, but it never matters how deep we come in. Inhale, halfway up, start to lengthen. And then exhale, release. Take the left foot flat on the floor, the left knee still bent. Bring left hand behind you. Inhale, reach through the right arm, extend. And then exhale, twist. You can hug onto that left leg or take your right elbow to the outside. Be sure your right toes are still pointing straight up and you're flexing your right ankle. That'll keep your right leg nice and active. Go on more long breath. Make sure you're breathing in your twist. Inhale, turn your head to center and exhale, unwind both legs out. Pull the toes back. Inhale to stretch up. As you exhale, hinge forward from the hips and reach for the feet. And if you can't reach, grab your strap. Continuing again to find length instead of rounding the back. Someone asked me the last time we filmed here, this is right in front of our house, <laughs> if the neighbors thought we were strange for filming yoga videos. And I'm not sure, nobody said anything. <laughs> but yes, you may tend to see a car here and there. Inhale, head up, and then exhale to release. And bending the knees, take the feet flat on the floor, arms by your sides, and we'll slowly, slowly start to roll down. Now, if this bothers your back at all, put your hands down and just lie back. And now, lengthen your tailbone toward the heels, stretch out your legs, bring your arms by your sides, allow your feet to flop open any amount, and just relax. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana. As you're resting, I have a quote today from Horace Trubel. And before I read it, 
sometimes it can be easy to see a lot of negative if we watch the news, read the newspaper, the headlines. So it's always good to remember that we can change what we can change. So he says, if the world is cold, make it your business to build fires. So if you find the world is cold, make it your business to build fires. Start to make some movements in your fingers and your toes and stretch out through your arms and your legs. Bend your knees, roll yourself onto your right side. And then press yourself up to seated. And sitting tall, cross the shins. Bring the hands together in front of your heart. Let's bring our hands to the forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth to remind us to have clear and loving communication, sending wonderful energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for joining today. I'm so proud of you keeping, keeping up with our challenge. Don't forget to subscribe. Be part of our community. There's a love yourself button. Click that one and then go to fightmasteryoga.com to join our mailing list so you can keep up to date on happenings. If you can afford a donation of any amount, there is a link below and also there is a button on the website. There's also another little banner that says Amazon. If you click that, it'll take you to the Amazon store. If you buy anything, it doesn't cost you anymore, but it helps to support us as well. I hope you have a great day. Tell your friends. Bye.